What is good everyone? Richard here from Weed City Soul and we're here to do a detailed overview on the Nike Flyknit Trainer. Now the Nike Flyknit Trainer to me has never been a pair of shoes that I've looked at that silhouette and been like, man, I really need a pair of those. Um, even when they announced that they were uh, retroing the white and black original colorway, um, I wasn't really that hyped about it until I saw the Sunset Tint colorway. This shoe in this colorway is absolute fire. And we're going to take a detailed look at it. So first and most obviously is the Sunset Tint shade on the back portion of the shoe. Um, sunset Tint is essentially just a really light, really soft pink color. Um, it's very similar to that Arctic Orange that Nike has been dropping on, on a few colorways as well. Um, but it's a nice subtle color that does really pop actually in real life. Um, some of the pictures make it look a little dull. Even on video it doesn't show up quite as vibrantly as it does in real life. It's odd. In real life, it's it's a really soft pink, but it still pops a lot, and I, I think that's really great. Moving forward on the shoe, the front portion features a black and pink flyknit weave. Um, it's so fine to the point where it looks like this portion is actually white, but this is the sunset tint woven with the black. Each eyelet on the shoe features dynamic fly wire which is partially visible as it runs all the way to the footbed of the shoe. The interior of the shoe is unpadded. All flyknit construction. Nice thick flyknit tongue there. I'll go into a little more detail on that in a bit. Uh, there are padded versions of the shoe. Uh, I'm kind of glad that they left the padding out. I tend to wear my flyknit shoes without socks a lot of the time. Um, I don't wear sandals or flip-flops. Uh, so I'll wear flannel shoes without socks to get that breathable, airy summer feel. Um, and I think that works a lot better without the padding and the heel on these. So I ended up going true to size in a 10 and a half in these guys. Um, I was a little worried about that because I went half size up in the Flannet Racer to an 11 because the 10 and a half just was not working. Um, I heard word that these were wider and that you could go true to size on them. Um, when I got them and I tried them on for the first time, they were pretty snug and I was worried and I didn't even have socks on yet. Um, but the fly knit in these breaks in, I mean, on the first or second wear. It's, it feels already a fair bit less snug uh, and more comfortable overall. So uh, true to size is, is probably an okay bet on these guys. Another important detail when uh, comparing this shoe to the fly knit racer is just to note that this shoe has a lot more structure to it. It just feels firmer overall and it holds its shape better on its own overall. Um, and another thing, uh, this thicker fly knit tongue is way, way better than it is on the racers. Not only is it thicker so that it holds its shape and its structure and its place better, um, but there's one important thing, it's attached to the rope laces via a strand right here. And what that does is it keeps the tongue in place so it's not always scrunching or falling down or, or wrinkling on the bottom so you have to reach your finger in and just pull it up the little lip on the edges like you have to do with the fly knit racer all the time. Um, it's a huge pain in the ass and you thankfully do not have to do that with these. One thing to watch out for on this shoe is that it does have a considerable amount of heel slip. Your foot will almost undoubtedly be moving up and down in the back of this shoe a lot. Um, Luckily, the inside of the shoe is nice and soft. It's fly knit, and there's a liner material that goes over the interior heel counter. But other than that, there's no padding or anything. So, you know, just fair warning there's a lot of heel slip, and the shoe is unpadded. It could cause some discomfort for people. Um, it's, it's just something to watch out for. On the outsole, exactly the same as the originals, right down to this Nike Plus logo. I like that they kept the Nike Plus logo there, even though Nike Plus isn't a thing anymore. Um, it just makes the shoe feel a little more authentic in terms of it being a retro. The shoe features a four foot zoom air unit. Although it's not something you can really tactily feel all that well, um, the shoe feels pretty minimal underfoot. Overall, I, I'm pretty pleased with the shoe. Um, I've worn them out a couple times to do errands. Um, they're comfortable, they're lightweight, they're breathable. They work for exactly the reasons I purchased them for um, and I think they look 
great. This is a really stylish sneaker, and we're going to give you guys some on-foot looks in a second here, too. Um, but overall, I, I like this shoe a lot. has been helpful to you at all please comment like and hit that subscribe button below it really helps us out and don't forget to follow us on instagram at weed city soul until next time guys i'm richard from weed city soul and they're just shoot.